All right, people, welcome back to some more card review. So this week for card review, we're going to be looking at the new Gladiator Beast Fusion. Because I'm not sure if you know this or not, but I'm an expert at Gladiator Beast. I actually played them for exactly one month on Daily Duels. It's an old series. If you're new to the channel, you probably don't know of it. But it has over a thousand episodes, shameless plug. Anyway, I played the deck for one month, so I'm an expert in Gladiator Beast. So I will be able to review these two fusion cards expertly and determine whether they are great, whether they are bad, whether you should put them in your Gladiator Beast extra deck or not. So today we are looking at Gladiator Beast and Bonte. All right, Konami, and Bonte. sure. It is a dark Beast Warrior fusion effect monster, level 8, with a thousand attack. That's pitiful for a level 8 fusion, but... He has that booty of 2,800, so if I can attack with the 28 booty, please, because 1,000 attack, really? 1,000 attack? It's pitiful, it's pitiful. He is made with one Gladiator Beast Augustus. You're probably scratching your head like, who the fuck is Gladiator Beast Augustus? That's that level 8 bird one that summons one from your hand. He's actually not bad. I actually like him. I actually put him in my Gladiator Beast. But it's... Also, materials are two other Gladiator Beast monsters. So, yes, you are using three materials for this one guy. That's a neg two. So, hopefully, his effect is totally worth it. So, his effect reads, you must first be special summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck. You do not use probably, of course, contact fusion with three. So, you neg two, as I stated before. If this card is summoned this way, you can special summon one level seven or lower Gladiator Beast from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning condition. So, Gazaris, 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 Gazaris. Of course, Gazaris does not have to be summoned properly to get its effect. So, you summon this, you summon Gazaris from your extra deck, and then pop, pop. So, Gazaris. You know, there's other ones, but we don't talk about them that are level seven or lower. Of course, there's Harry Klingler, but he's not level seven or lower, so Gazaris. Alright? And, at the end of the battle phase, this card battles. With its pitiful 1,000 attack. Keep that in mind. Pitiful 1,000 attack. You can return this to the extra deck to special summon two Gladiator Beast monsters from your deck. Which, of course, if the Gladiator Beast monsters do have effects, they will get their, their effects. So, that's not terrible. Except the fact that you have 1,000 fucking attack. Like, you, you're, you're, you're good because you summon that Gladiator Beast guys always out of the extra deck. Ignoring summon conditions. Pop, pop. That's awesome. And then if you attack, you summon two Glad Beasts from your, your deck, which means that you can possibly go into another Gazaris and make this two of them pop, pop again. But my issue with you is that you only have a 1,000 fucking attack. Like, if you had the 2,800 attack and a 1,000 defense, all right, maybe we could talk. But that 1,000 attack, like, what am I supposed to do? Wabaku, I guess? Like, wow, wow. That, and you, you keep in mind, this is a neg two. This is a neg two. And he can't even summon hair cleanups. And, I mean, yeah, no, no. Especially, especially considering the card that we're going to be reviewing on Wednesday. It's just so much better than this card. Like, it does what this card does, except better and easier. And it's just a greater, better card than this. So, should you run this in your shack? No, no. Should you run Augustus? Probably, probably. Augustus can actually do something for you. Especially with the other card. But... Should you run this card? No, not over the other Gladiator Beast monster that we're going to be reviewing Wednesday. And you'll see. I'll talk about this, and I'll talk about him, and you'll definitely see, compare and contrast. But that other one's way better than this one. So this one's just, you know, it was obsolete as soon as it came out because the two cards came out at the same time. So congratulations. Congratulations. You know? So that's pretty much all I had to say about Gladiator Beast uh, Andabante. Like I said, he's obsolete. He just came out the same time. He came out obsolete. So tell me what you guys think about Gladiator Beast uh, Adante Bonte in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card. Like I said, on Wednesday we're going to come back and look at yet another Gladiator Beast fusion monster who puts this guy to shame. Who came at the same exact time, who has pretty much almost the same exact effect, and puts this guy to shame. So look forward to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you uh, part of it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. Both for notifications. Of course, I'll be back. Uh, tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, but of course more card review on Wednesday. So thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.